Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 987. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 987 to 988, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to look up the last number, but we're going to have a complicating factor. What happens if we have zeros here? Now, we're going to look at our standard formula for looking up the last number. And it's a lookup function. And guess what? When you have lookup functions doing approximate match, there's a great trick for finding the last item. Lookup value. If you give this uh, lookup value a bigger number than anything in the column, it'll always get the last one, even if it's not a sorted column, which usually approximate match requires. So the biggest number that Excel knows, an approximation for it is 9.99 plus E307. All right. Now you could give it any big number you want. E plus 307. You can give it any bigger big number you want as long as it's bigger than anything in the column. And then we simply highlight. And because we're doing approximate match, it'll get the last one. Now notice we only used the lookup value and the lookup vector. This is one of those weird situations where the actual range is the column we're looking something up in, and it has the value we want to retrieve and bring back to the cell. So that works fine until you give it a 0. right? So the approximate match is just racing down, and it's always going to take that last number, even if it's 0. So now let's amend this. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use a lookup vector and a result vector. So we need to just isolate only the numbers that are greater than 0. So I'm going to say greater than 0. Now this will give me trues and falses, right? And that won't work. In fact, if you leave them trues and falses, or if you uh, convert them to ones and zeros, the falses will be treated as if they're numbers and will not uh, allow our approximate match trick to get the last one to work. So we really literally need to get rid of those falses, Control-Z. I'm going to do that with division 1 divided by. And then I want the, the comparative operator right there to calculate before the division. So I have to put it in parentheses. Now, if I click on that in F9, divide by 0, filtered out the empty cells and the zeros. Now I just have an, ar an array of ones. And guess what? I can come comma the lookup vector and the lookup value just determine the position. Now I come over here and comma result vector. And there we go. Now we can improve this one more because remember our array right here, F9, is just filled with ones. It's never going to be ever be bigger than one. So I can just put some number bigger. Hey, I'm going to use a 2. And that formula will work. Control Enter. And it doesn't matter what we're putting down here. It'll always get that uh, last one, even if a 0 happens to be after the last number we're looking to put in the cell. All right, we'll see you next trick.